Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to pop in and talk to y'all for a brief moment. Um, I'm actually at my job, um, preparing to get my work day started. And I remember I needed to pop in to update y'all about something. My hair sticking out. Mm. Um, I wanted to pop in and update y'all about something. We have a channel update coming. And I wanted to inform y'all about it really quick. Nothing major, but I'll be changing the name of our channel. So if you've been here for any length of time, we started consistently vlogging back in 2020 and it was me and Mr. Allen okay like it always is and um, over time our I guess vlogging style changed a little bit whereas um, our schedules kind of got a little busy a little different and so um, it's mainly been me running the vlogs and um so i decided to make the name change to the channel i already know i'm the one running the show anyway of course the content will not change it'll still be um mr allen popping in when he can and it'll still be my baby max but because it's mainly me i decided to make that change to the channel i definitely want to appreciate all of our subscribers and all of you for coming back every week to watch our vlogs so yeah that is the channel update and i just wanted to make that little brief announcement so y'all y'all won't be alarmed when you see um the name change just wanted to update y'all on that and uh yeah guys we pray you continue to enjoy the channel and continue to share it out with your family and friends and prayerfully we continue to grow so the new name of the channel will be all things dorcas so it's going to be just like a visual diary of my life pretty much what you get now you get day in the life you get business entrepreneurship you get um, my love for family my love for friends my love for people you get my home decor style you get little um, motivational inspirational talks um, you get my marriage you get my uh, fur baby max so just all things work is so thank y'all for continuing to rock with me on this vlogging journey it's been exciting i've met some amazing people and um i'm here for the journey to continue on with vlogging so yeah guys that is all i had to update y'all on so let's get into the rest of this video
So let's get this thing started. Um, I have been walking by my kitchen for the last probably three days, just to be honest with you. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone and uh, being really busy and just letting things kind of go slack sometimes. And um, I wanted to show you just a realistic view of how things can end up sometimes. So I'm just getting started with lighting my candle, just getting the mood set so I can get some fresh scents in the house. I have my music going. I can't remember what station this is, but I love music, all types of music. So I have that going and I'm going to get started over here in front of my coffee station. I keep my vitamins here in my kitchen. My vitamins have shifted around the home quite a few, few times, just trying to find that right place for them. Y'all have to let me know where you keep your vitamins but I keep mine right on the side of my refrigerator in the cabinet because it helps me to remember to take them. <laughs> Oftentimes, I can um, forget, so I'm always in the kitchen, so it just helps me remember to take them if I sit them right there. So I'm going to just put up some food items that was left out from me preparing a meal and... um we're going to get this counter cleared off. Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. When I need some love and baby. And I'll never let you down. Let you down, let you down. Your song and you're playing all my melodies. There's no one else, cause baby, we got chemistry. You give me feelings that feelings that I never knew. This heart of mine will always and forever belong to you. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it. So now I'm about to refill my cabinet with my paper products. Um, not sure about you, but in our home we use paper, plastic, and glassware. It's just more convenient for us, so it works. And so I needed to put some dishes up that I had left on the counter that I washed a few days ago. So I'm just going to put those dishes away and empty the dishwasher. Something that I really dislike doing. Like I can wash dishes all day, but putting them away is like work to me. I'm the same way when it comes down to washing clothes. So I love to wash clothes, but I don't like to fold them and put them away. I don't know. Am I alone? But it just has to get done, so we're getting it done today. So let's finish getting these dishes put away.
is crossed We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken So, I'm almost to the finish line, guys. I got all the dishes put away, and so now it's time for me to do a little refilling. I want to refill the cookie jar, and I want to refill um, Max's dog food that I keep in a certain container to make it a little bit easier to transfer to his bowl. So, um, these cookies, Mr. Allen loves cookies, so I always make sure I keep a variety of cookies for him in the cookie jar he is my cookie monster <laughs> so I'm gonna get that done and um, yeah I'm really excited to be almost done cleaning I um, took about let's say about 30 minutes to kind of speed through the kitchen it didn't take me long so that's a good thing when, you know, you get your mind focused. I got me some music going and I knew I wanted to get this task complete today because I was just tired of, you know, letting it be. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you let things go and you may not be able to get to it right then. But as long as you get to it is the thing. OK, just don't let it go for too long. As long as you have a plan execute your plan which my plan today was to clean this entire kitchen and I did just that and it made me feel so accomplished it made me feel so much better with my home being fresh and clean and I was able to um, really sit down and relax because I know I got that task marked off my list so I do not feel bad about letting it go uh, for a couple of days because that's just life things happen and um it's too much going on for me to just beat myself up about not washing a dish, okay? So, that's not what we're doing here. We're um, uplifting ourselves and keeping ourselves on the right track by setting a goal, getting that thing done, and uh, not dwelling on it. So, I feel good. I feel accomplished because I clean my kitchen, and that made me feel good, so... I think you should do something that makes you feel good. Get a task done, set a plan, and get it done. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get these counters wiped down, and we will be done, y'all. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree.
So, um, I'm about to cook dinner. Or I have a recipe I'm about to cook. I'm about to make something that I've never made before or tasted before. Squash casserole. Okay, y'all. I went ahead and got my... How do I want to cut these up? Hmm... I went ahead and got my um, onion peel, so I'm going to cut it up, and of course you can cut it up however you like to, whether you want to dice it or whatever you like to do. So, we'll get these cut up, and of course they're kicking already. <laughs> I really don't like cutting the bones. But I love, love, love sauteed or raw onions, actually. So I just kind of rough chop those. And I'm going to stick those to the side on my little zucchini tray here. And get my prep work out the way that way. That way I can just. When I go over to the to the stove, we can throw this thing, saute this stuff, and be done with it really, really quick. If you know anything about me, you know I love a quick meal. <laughs> so squash doesn't take long to prepare. So this meal is definitely something that's quick that you can throw together and throw in the oven I'm excited because I've heard a lot of people say before that squash casserole is really good so I feel like if you love squash or if you don't love squash this is something that you'll love because we're adding the cheese to it and cheese makes everything better so I'm gonna finish cutting these vegetables up and then I'll pop back in when it's time to start cooking, okay, y'all? cut up. I got my onions diced up here. I've already put about a half a stick of my butter in my pan and I'm going to throw my onions in there, throw my squash in there and let that cook down. So I've seen a couple of people do it differently. Some people boil their squash and then saute their onions separately, drain it and do it that way. But I'm going to do it this way since this is just the way I'm familiar with cooking my squash on a regular anyway. So, this is the way I'm deciding to do it. I got my heat on a medium to high heat because I'm not trying to be here all day. So, this is going to be a 30-minute meal. <laughs> So I got my onions in there and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my, I'm not gonna wait till my onions saute, I'm gonna let it all just saute together. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my squash in there. And then I'm gonna season this up in the process, okay? So I'm gonna take some pepper. And again, I'm winging this, I've never made this dish before. I've just been wanting to try it because I've seen several um, recipes on it and I'll, I've always wanted to try it. So tonight is the lucky night. So I'm going in with some black pepper, 
garlic powder and roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I wish I had a little Cajun seasoning, but let me see if I got some Cajun seasoning. I might. I might, might, might. Do I, do I? I think I was out of, oh, I got some Slap Your Mama seasoning. Now, I did see somebody put, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Slap Your Mama seasoning in there. Y'all know I'm not scared to season. If you ain't seasoned, it ain't seasoned. I also seen somebody put a little ranch. I might try that too. Don't tempt me with a good time. Don't tempt me. So, I'm gonna get this stirred up. I hadn't sneezed yet, but my nose itching. So that means it's seasoned. <laughs> my friend told me she had never heard that before. Y'all let me know if you heard that before. If it ain't, if you're not sneezing, it ain't seasoning. <laughs> so, I'm going to let this saute up. This probably really shouldn't take but a good 15, 20 minutes because squash do not take long to cook. So, I'm going to let this saute. I'm not going to bore y'all with... Uh, making y'all wait. I'm going to let it saute and I'm going to pop back in when it's done, okay? Alright y'all, I'm popping back in. We're almost done. My um, squash has been sauteing for about 15 minutes. Um, and of course, the texture softness of it will be based on you. I want mine to be really soft what I consider overcooked for this casserole. See that it's a casserole, I don't want it to be too crunchy or have too much texture to it. So I'm gonna cook mine down a little bit more than what you see here. Again, I've seen several different recipes. So with this being my first time, I'm kind of just winging it. I'm not really doing any measurements as I normally don't do. <laughs> Because when you're making casseroles, I've made so many casseroles. And when you're making casseroles, um, you don't really have to measure. At least I think. Because it's going to be good regardless is how I feel. But let's just say, if you are a cook, you know how to cook. Now, if you don't know how to cook, I would recommend you looking at a recipe and following the recipe to the tea. But because I've made several casseroles and I kind of know how things look by texture and the look of it, I'm just kind of winging it, okay? So I'm really excited to see how this is going to taste because I love squash. So I'm like, you can't go wrong with a squash casserole. So while I was letting the squash cook, I've already mashed up my crackers. These are um, like Ritz crackers. You can, you can use any brand of uh, crackers, I'm assuming. The recipes that I've seen all use the Ritz crackers. I actually got my crackers from Aldi, and I've been loving their brand of crackers. They're really buttery and smooth. So that's what I'm going to use for this dish today. So as you can see, these are looking just how I want them to look. They're looking exactly how I want them to look. I'm able to like, you know, smash them. I've separated a few of them like that since I had them in the pan. I have my casserole this year. It may be too big. I'm wondering if it's too big. <laughs> I think I'm going to use it anyway because it's clear. It's glass. That way I can see what I'm doing. So. We're about ready to assemble this dish, guys. Let me go clean my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm about ready to assemble now. What I'm gonna do is just mix everything up in my casserole dish here. So, I'm gonna take my squash and pour it in. It's still bubbling. Piping hot. I'm 
okay i have my squash here then i'm going to go in with my cheese i have a blend of kobe jack and monterey cheese and of course you do this until your soul is content okay <laughs> i don't have any measurements and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that Kobe deck and then I'm gonna use some Parmesan as well. Then I'm gonna, I have eight ounces of sour cream here I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start off with half of this. So I'm gonna do, yeah. Four ounces of sour cream. And then I'm gonna use just a little of this heavy cream. And then I'm scared to use this, but I wanna try it just to see what kind of flavor adds a little bit of this ranch. Just a little bit. We gonna see what it do. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm gonna stir this up. Now from the recipes that I've seen, we want it to be a creamy consistency. So that's the consistency I'm looking for. Now it does smell good. It smells good already. Okay. Okay, squash casserole. Now what I believe I'm going to do, I believe I want to mix in um, my Ritz crackers, some inside and some on top. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just kind of going with the flow, y'all. Going with the flow. But this actually smells really good. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. I'm gonna go in with the um, some more of the Kobe Jack, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit more sour cream. And I'm I'm actually going just going by the texture of it at this point. Let me bring y'all in a little closer. texture at this point and this is about the consistency I was looking for now I've seen some people add in eggs mayo I didn't want to do that at least not this time I'm gonna see how it does like this and based off this time I'll tweak it a little bit the next time, okay? So at this point, I'm going to top it off with some more crackers, top it off with cheese, and then that's gonna be it. You know what, let me taste it because my father-in-law told me, if you can't taste your food, you ain't no real cook. <laughs> Ever since he said that, I pickled on to it. Okay, you don't need nothing new at all. Wow. Okay, let me finish assembling this so I can get this in the oven, guys. Thank 
Okay, y'all, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you the finished result. All right, guys, I just got it out of the oven and it looks delicious. I really don't feel like tasting it again, but I'm gonna taste it just for y'all, okay? A small little piece, okay? So let me give me a spoon and taste it so I can let y'all know how it tastes. I'll be right back. Show you what it looked like on the inside. It's really ooey gooey cheesy. Okay, I'm hyping myself up because I don't really want to taste it. <laughs> okay, guys. Smells good. Looks good. It's piping hot. I'm about to risk it all for y'all because I don't feel like waiting. This is what it looks like. Max down here like, give me some. squash you wouldn't know that it was squash I really like it I didn't over season it because the cheese you seen how much cheese I added but I did kind of tone it down with the sour cream but it just tastes like a cheesy good casserole hmm okay this is something that can be a side dish to me with anything. Me personally, I would eat it by itself. I wouldn't put any meat or anything with it. But I really like it, guys. It's a hit. I think you should try it. Whether you love squash or not, I feel like you'll like this dish because it doesn't like taste like squash, if that makes sense. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you try it. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Love y'all.